I would request the international community and convey it loud and clear that human dignity should have been the order of the day. When we hear of sustainable development goals, when we come across poverty, hunger, infant mortality, mother child care, where human are at the receiving end, where they are deprived of their due rights, then the key stakeholders and those who are at the helm of the affairs, they need to realize that the main prerequisite for any society to prosper is peace. And this region, especially the subcontinent, it is in dire need of peace. And the Honorable Prime Minister in his very speech conveyed a message to our Indian neighbors, especially to Prime Minister Modi and his team, that we are willing to resolve all issues at all levels and we are taking this initiative. And as responsible humans and a civilized country, it is our and it is the collective responsibility of all the key stakeholders to give due priority to peace. And since technology has improved by leaps and bounds, I don't see any war in any capacity, especially in this region. So rather than giving due importance to war, peace should be the ultimate objective of all the key stakeholders and countries have learned from their past. And that's what human history speaks in high volumes when it comes to 1688 Glorious Revolution, French Revolution, American War of Independence, World War I, World War II, and even the recent past of European Union where reintegration is the order of the day. Those who were at a dragged dawn for hundreds of years, they realized the importance of peace and now their slogan is one currency and one border. So we need to learn from them and I would convey to our Indian, Indian counterparts that let's give peace to importance. It is in the best interest of all the key stakeholders. Our main emphasis should be on education and health and to provide basic facilities to our people because that's what they expect at the end of the day and that's what needs to be given to importance. I believe Pakistan is a country which is now united and we there is no there should be no confusion at any level Pakistanis are willing to sacrifice anything for peace and we have sacrificed enormously but we will never ever come under any pressure because this country has got enormous potential we are here to survive and inshallah with the blessing of the divine power we will become a country which will become an example for the coming generations, Pakistan Zindabad.